Hey gamers, it's Grind This Game here, back with Oxygen Not Included, the quality of life upgrade, and in this episode I'm going to make a giant oxygen tank, uh, just for regular oxygen at first, and I'm thinking of putting it up here in this big large area here. Now I did this in a base a long time ago, what I did was I used a high pressure vent to fill the, a big room with oxygen and hydrogen and let the hydrogen go to the top oxygen fall to the bottom as kind of a natural separation and then use an element sensor at the top to grab the hydrogen and just grab the oxygen out of the bottom and send it into the base and what this will enable me to do is to prevent kind of all this blockage and back up here that's happening I should just be able to pump everything straight straight into this um, room that I'm planning out here That's going to require some digging, so I guess I should probably get started on that. Uh, and there's a bunch of Drecos and stuff in here. I think what I might do is just let all the gas fly out this way. Open this up. We're going to lose some oxygen doing that. I mean, I keep getting regolith in here, which is kind of surprises me. Let's do high priority there. I guess I'll just open it right up. Come down here. I should probably stop them from coming in. Oh no, they're all in exosuits, so it shouldn't matter which way they come in. I might get rid of this uh, shine bug farm. I don't really need it. I don't want them to go extinct, but I also like don't really need them for anything. Let me plan the perimeter here. Probably want the floor, the bottom to be down here. I probably won't bother insulating it. We'll just do kind of regular, regular floor. I'll probably make this four high though. One, two, three, four. Is that what I want? Oh, we just have a three high. Uh, let me see. What should I do? I think I'll just make this the bottom. Now, it's not going to be symmetrical anymore if I do this. Unless I make the oxygen thing just this with this column and put it in here. But I don't think that's going to be big enough for what I want. So it's probably going to come, it's going to stick out to the left here. It's going to be a, quite a large room. <laughs> I'm going to need some ladders to build this up as well. Let's see, let's see, what should I do here? These granite ladders, no these are sandstone. I guess I'll put this side of it right here. So I'll need a, oops, need a ladder here. And we need to allow them in there. A bunch of chlorine's gonna fall out. That's okay, the, the chlorine's gonna end up, or maybe I should build it from the other side and just let it gas out. I think I'll do that actually. So we need a floor here. And I'll get rid of these ladders after. Actually, they're not hurting anything. I'll just probably leave them. And then I'll come just straight down here, I guess. Maybe I'll make the other wall along this wall, just so it's kind of lines up. Yeah, so this will be a wall here. Let's just plan that out. Let's 
So this will be the side wall. Oops, that's not what I want. And I'll probably just do ladders every four, like this. This is usually how I build these things. It's more efficient just to use like little, like a ladder grid. Kind of like, kind of like this. Something like this. I see a lot of people do this. That's definitely more efficient, but I just feel like it's easier to draw it out like this. I'm gonna say goodbye to the shine bug, I think. Actually, they're a good source of shells, but we have so many hatches now. Let's just get rid of all this. If they survive, they survive. If they don't survive, so be it. I think I'll put an airlock here. And I've been launching my rockets. Let's just see. Oh. Let's get this filled up. And this one. Does this still have. This has some wheeze warts. I should probably reconfigure this rocket to be a cargo container instead. I think we can take this out, replace it. Yeah, let's do that. I'm gonna need to be able to reach it though. Might need a ladder. I hope I can build in the middle like this. Okay, I don't need that ladder. Ideally, my cargo would be up here, but... Now, is the astronaut going to fall out if I do this? <laughs> Let's just do cargo. Priority seven, sure. This is all ready to go. Track the gantries. And this one will launch. I gotta rename this one. I'm gonna call this right rocket. Which is this one. Or we'll just call it R. <laughs> And we're going to go... Where are we going to go? That one's going there. That has fuller and ice or resin. That sounds good. And I'm going to have to build a cargo offloading area. Kind of like this one. I might just merge with this one, actually. And all the stuff I have stored here, I gotta get rid of. I need more Mavic rock storage. I have a lot of Mavic rock. I have to get rid of it some way, somehow. At some point. And I think I'll decommission all this. At some point. We've got all the steam in here. It's not really helping us. I'd like to move all this over to the water area and kind of stick the aqua tuner in here. That'll save us bring all this pipe over. So that goes along there, then comes back down here. So yeah, I'll probably move that at some point. 
In fact, I'm not actually using this anymore. I I used to have bristle berries down here, and I I decommissioned all. Well, I turned it all off because we have so much food. At some point, I'll put it back in. But for now, we don't need it. We're eating barbecue mainly. Omelets, barbecue. So I'm gonna, I am gonna decommission that. Let's uh, let's vent that steam into space. Let's get that done right away. Oh, I didn't want to make that nine. So if the pressure is above zero, <laughs> remove the steam. I could just open it up, but it'll really cook this area. I don't really want to do that, even though it's a vacuum here. I'd rather pump it directly into the vacuum. Let's put an airlock here. That's not going to help much with that, like that. <laughs> now this is going to be cold oxygen, but I'm going to allow it to cool the surrounding area. Maybe that's not a good idea. Actually, this mass will... Maybe I should use... Oh, what's all this hot stuff here? Super hot phosphorite. Interesting. Maybe I should insulate this room. Because that's going to heat up our nice cold oxygen. But we could just cool down the whole map over time this way. Doesn't really need to be cool down here. It might actually even out to be ni a nice temperature. Let's just see how it goes. We can always insulate it after. Uh, let's get rid of this airlock. Those tiles. Actually, these desks are kind of in the way, but this is going to be the floor, I mean the ceiling, so it should be okay if we can replace all this. So a giant oxygen tank, this will be our hydrogen tank, and then eventually all this will be pumped into the base, and I'll probably do my liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen right in this whole block here which is pretty close to the rockets. And I should get this rocket filled here. What's going on? Gantry. The indicator for these liquid tanks doesn't work. Bit of a bug. Is red still on there? Yep. Okay, good. These guys starving? Glum.
once we get all those ladders in, then we'll, I'll just cross dig all this. And then a wall is going in here. Actually, I don't want to put that all out just yet. In fact, I want this wall to be high priority. We want this done first. Okay, so we'll let them work on that. How are the calories? Two million. <laughs> oh, I had some problems down with my oil thing here. The oil was leaking into here. So what I really need is take this out and make these mesh tile. That should work, and it should all flow down there. And I was building, look at this. <laughs> I'm gonna build this up to the top level. That's going to come up to this, maybe at this level here. I don't know, I'm going to, or maybe right around here. For no particular reason. Just for a project to do. Fill in the gaps. all backed up. I gotta clear all this out as well at some point. All those Drekos. Okay, how's this going up here? Slow and steady. This should be safe to dig, so we'll start digging that out, digging this out. Now this is going to be a waste of energy uh, in terms of I'm going to have to have a set of pumps here as well as a set of pumps in here. So we'll be wasting a bit of energy, but I have so much energy, it's kind of ridiculous. Got a bunch of natural gas. We got hydrogen power, we got coal. Look at all this coal we got. 192 tons of coal. This I might go super speed briefly. I don't know if it's going to help though, because they get all weird. My computer can't keep up. I think it's working though.
This is kind of the danger-free way of doing this. It does require removing the ladders after, though. Look at all this meat in here. Wow. So what we'll be doing over here is just, instead of doing the filtering here, we'll just send the gases directly over into here. Now I'm gonna need some, some room to cross over here. pretty cold in this room. One minus 171. Too cold. <laughs> That'll be good for when we want liquid oxygen later on. To pre-cool it. Okay, these guys are taking their sweet time. Enough docks? I think so. I kind of want to redo my power plant at some point. It's kind of, kind of messy. And the piping in here is way too constrained. It's extra messy because I've got this radiator here, which kind of gets in the way of everything. This is going to get a lot cleaner though when I change all this out. And we just do straight pipes. But I'm gonna actually have to have them leave the base and then... Maybe I should just decommission all that. Yeah, maybe decommission all this. Even though my cooling is right here. We'll see. I expanded my water tank a bit here. I think I could probably do it a little bit more. This poor morb, look at him. Actually using the natural gas now. Good, good, good. There's more down here. Is this all used up? Oh yeah. Oh, actually, we're kind of running low on natural gas. Hmm. We have petroleum though, and I took out one of the petroleum generators just because it wasn't really needed. It does kick on occasionally. Oh, what's all this crap? Why is this not getting filtered? Look at the sedimentary rock, it's filthy. Hmm. Okay, I don't want this whole episode to be this big dig up here so I hope they're oh geez they're not they're not doing it very fast not at all
I could allow them to come in. Where's my power? You know what I'm going to start doing? I'm going to start venting all this crap out. We'll put a... Pump here. And I'm going to just... Well, it's actually mostly oxygen here, but down here it's not... Let's just stick a pump here. Can't. Okay. Need to dig a bit of this out here. I'd like to let them in right here because it would be faster, but I don't want all the chlorine falling out. Let's just suck all the air out of here. Send it directly in here. That should suck all the CO2 out and eventually the chlorine. I'm not going to bother with the filter. I'll just turn it off when it's done. Okay, we're getting there. We are getting there. Gotta get rid of this Dreco. I don't want them pathfinding through the whole map. I haven't really used super speed for the last 10 episodes or so, but for digs like this, it definitely helps a bit. Okay, the end is near here. Let's get uh, let's get a ceiling on here.
It's coming along. It's coming along. Let's do this. Uh, seven. So this will be our main oxygen repository for making liquid oxygen as well. Even though we don't have to cool it down. Hearing those little shambugs sleep at night, it's pretty funny. <laughs> Are they any faster? Super speed. Maybe not. We do have some really talented diggers. Okay, this chlorine level is falling. That's good. We're getting rid of it slowly. While they're doing that, I can plan what I want to do here. So these pipes, I think I'll bring... This is all a mess in here. So I think I'll bring them over the top. I think I'll just come this way. Maybe. Is that what I want? Uh, I think so. Let's do that as a six, because I want to get my big room done first. This airlock is doing nothing. Oh, yes, it is doing something. <laughs> because this is all space up here. This is almost done. It seems to be falling kind of diagonally. But I think what I'll do is just make a vacuum. We'll seal it in. Put an airlock here. Not a complete vacuum, but...
Do I want to pump that oxygen out? I don't think so. I think what I'll do is move this pump over. I don't, I don't need to seal it just yet. Okay, this pipe, they're working on it. Now I do have, under rare resources, I have some thermium now. That's not what I wanted. Uh, where is it? Some thermium, where? I think, I think it's all in this container up here, so let's take a look. We've got 1100 kilograms of thermium, which isn't actually a whole lot. Iso resin insulation. And I do have some super coolant now. We got 800 kilograms of super coolant. And the rocket's back. I should have had this other rocket going. I should automate my rockets. I keep saying that. <laughs> okay, where are we going with this one? This is the left rocket. Lag spike. Okay. This is lefty. And we're going to go to the same planet, I think, because it has isorisen and fullerene. Actually, we need some niobium as well. 2% niobium. 3%. I'm going to go to this close one, actually. There goes our steam. Oops. Got some garbage on the floor here. <laughs> I'll have to sweep that up. Okay, there goes all the garbage gas. Unreachable dig. I think it's reachable. I want to clean this up a bit. So I'm going to take this. Do we even need this anymore? Kind of. Not really, but...
prefer it to go that way instead. Gonna waste some oxygen here. Can they even get in there? I have to open this up. This is the kind of stuff I usually do off camera, but I figured I would just do it on camera. Now I want these to vent kind of in the middle with a high pressure vent. And then the hydrogen will go to the top. Now I should move my airlock now that I've got this built. Really, really I should have a liquid lock because this is going to be high pressure and all the oxygen is going to fly out, but I don't think it's a big, big deal. I'll put this vent on at the very end. That's not going to work. That's going to be crooked and I'm not going to like it. And there's going to be more of that, so uh, forget that. We'll do the bridges. Kind of like this. This is, this is going up. This is going up. You're probably wondering what the heck am I doing. But if you saw my base from a long time ago, you know what I'm building. It's kind of like a gravity separation thing versus uh, using using filters. Okay, that's sealed. I'm gonna stick an airlock. Probably want a powered one because I don't want them leaving this door open very long. This circuit is way overdone. But I don't care. Let's just do it. Okay, chlorine. Now I'm venting oxygen. Hmm. I should filter it. Actually, never mind. What do we have over here? A little bit of chlorine. Yay, we built the box. It only took, I don't know, 30 minutes? It's okay if there's a little bit of CO2 in here. It'll end up in the base and it'll fall out of the base. It'll get pumped out.
Okay. I think it's safe to start pumping oxygen. That's good enough. Let's get rid of that. So I'll need some pumps at the top for hydrogen. Probably just one, actually. That'll go maybe here or here. And I want a element sensor. Gas element sensor. Kind of down near the bottom. I think I still need a filter actually. I might need a filter for this because one pack of the hydrogen might hit it and then. Yeah. But the hydrogen's gonna end up at the top here. Okay, here comes the oxygen and hydrogen. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. Let's cut this pipe off. Let's actually remove it. Remove that. Remove the filter. Now that might be powering, or might be filling our exosuit docks. No, that line isn't good. Now these are still kind of getting messed up here. I saw someone who was using a mechanical filter. They had two pumps, one electrolyzer, and the electrolyzer was running non-stop. And they weren't using any exploits. They did have two separate lines though, so that's probably what my, my issue is here. We'll do that. Okay, I need some more bridges here. So I want this to go somewhat cleanly through. Is not what I wanted. <laughs> That's going to come through here. Come down here. High pressure vent. Now I'm gonna need to get the hydrogen out, so I need a bridge here. Bridge here. And I have to keep an eye on the base. I think it's fine for oxygen, but during the transition period, we might be lacking some oxygen. This isn't doing anything anymore.
This line is done. And I just cut that off by mistake. And this is very messed up. So I gotta fix this. Now, I don't know how they did it, because they had their electrolyzers never going max gas pressure. And all they had was two pumps. So I don't know what they're doing. They weren't using the exploit where they put liquid on this thing. Oh, there it goes. It's on. Oh, it's on almost, almost full. Maybe a third pump would make it work perfectly. Or maybe it was the mechanical filters that was doing it. Anyway. So I gotta do the same thing for this area. So I need two more lines coming over here. And then I need some pumps on the bottom to bring the oxygen into the base and exosuits and whatnot. I guess I'll... Should I rip this out yet? I'm gonna need oxygen for these. I could grab it from this algae room. Maybe I'll do that. This line... This line can go. I think I'll just do this line here for the exosuits for now. Probably should have kept that filter there, actually. Uh, I might need it later. Okay, that's coming down. Actually, I can't, I can't deconstruct this yet until this other one is completed. Or they won't be able to run around. So we'll grab the hydrogen out of here, and that'll go into our hydrogen storage room, which will be... I'll, I'll make this a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll make it the exact same size. That would be cool. So we have two different height, but same width. Giant hydrogen tank, giant oxygen tank. Then maybe I can decommission these.
And then we'll put, a, I'll need a filter here because this is not gonna be enough. But we'll only run it when it detects hydrogen, when the hydrogen comes down to about this level. And then everything on the bottom, once we get this chlorine out of here, should just be oxygen. Which will go to the base. And I'm kind of running out of time, so I might end things there. Even though all I did was made a box. It's going to save us maybe one filter. <laughs> But the uptime of this should be should be more because we're gonna this thing should be running kind of non-stop or close to non-stop once it's all changed. And it'll look cool. We'll have a giant oxygen room. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.